Oh. <clears throat> now should be restoring GoPod firmware full, then should say verifying GoPod software. Then this should be about full. Which is almost partially full. If you follow all the YouTube videos saying you have a you have to have a UD ID, you're gonna have to set up and then when you think you're about good, about three four done, <coughs> it should it should say setting up iPod which isn't which isn't really setting up, but then it should give you an error message saying that it's not good, you have to format this. So this is the video to go with. So after it's done, it should be like five seconds. After verifying, now the power is full. Should restore any second. Oh. Alright, so after you're done, do not turn off your computer. Wait for it to load up. I'll show you how it boots up. Just wait a couple seconds. For now, you can un unplug it right now if you don't really want to sync it. I'm trying to make this as detailed as possible, so stay with me. After it should be done, now should do that. Now it says iPod, start to set up. After size set up, should say English. Side to the right, side to the right. Uh, I don't like location services. Okay. Then you search for a router, which I. And after it should say a check mark or it says it connected. Alright, after it says a check mark, you can press next. After it says activating iPod Touch, then set up his new iPod Touch. Next. Then skip the sk skip. Then don't send. Then start using iPod Touch. Then, yay, you installed it. And now, woohoo, this shouldn't, uh, shouldn't not work. So now I'm going to show you how it should work. And this is, you just did a tether jailbreak. Well, not kill anything on your iPod, so they'll start screaming. So, I want you to do is open, open up iBooty. Click on iBooty. And now, select your device, which I have a touch plugged in. Now, turn it off. And wait a couple seconds because it's tethered. Oh. Alright, so after it does that, click the home and power button for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. After you let go of the power button, hold the home button and then press start. Then just ignore the message. And after it should pop up, should say exploding with rhyme rain, waiting for device. And after it does that, then it says booting, then you can let go. If you get the connect to iTunes message, you can just hold the power button, home button, 10 seconds, and then just boot it up regularly, which is what happened to me one day, and I just did that. And if it still doesn't work, just set it up to DFU mode, and then run, run oh. iBooty one more time. 
and it oh. is done. Woohoo for the win again. So first time it should go down. And then just click again, then should work. So I'm until 88. Out. Peace, people. What, 15 minutes or 13?